Hi guys, my name is Kiera, but here on the internet, I go by the one and only Hobo Kiki. And today, we are going to be planning in my Hobonichi cousin. Of course, you guys already know this is my favorite planner. Let me go ahead and open this bad boy up. We are going to be planning for uh, one of the last weeks of October from the 23rd through the 29th and I am going to be using a few stickers starting with this Miss Business Plans or Miss Biz Plans excuse me uh, her date covers and then I do have these stickers from uh, Sticky Club that I really wanted to use I'm trying to find a way that y'all can see them but it is hard seeing as uh, they are you know on transparent paper and then my light is glaring on it but hopefully you can see it a little bit better now it's a bunch of skulls and they kind of give me tattoo vibes and i wanted to add this scribble prince co icon sheet to go with it because the foil matches one of the foils on the other sheet so i think it's going to pair nicely then i have this uh the honeybee shop i got this in a freebie sampler don't know where don't know when but i did just want the quotes from there and i'm going to be adding black boxes from the happy planner as well as some flowers from the roy g biv boxes from kell of a plan yes it is a whole hodgepodge of things today <laughs> but you know i'm thinking it's going to come out looking nice so you already know well hopefully you already know I always start with my date covers it's just a no-brainer way to automatically add some oomph to the Hobonichi cousin so that's where I'm starting now I do want to go ahead and apologize <laughs> because my big forehead slash my hair does come into play just a little bit like not a lot to where the whole video is ruined but just enough to annoy me, like in this scene here. <laughs> it's like I try to cut out as much of it as possible, but if I cut out all of it, then we wouldn't have much of a video. So hopefully you can forgive me for that. I know, I know in a little bit, I am going to be pulling some black boxes from the Happy Planner Colorful Boxes sticker book. And that's what's on the top left corner there. I know you can barely see it, but I am going to pull it into frame uh, eventually. I just wanted to pull out some of my stickers first. What I have been enjoying lately is uh, just slapping down the events that I know I have for that week. Uh, big things that I need to pay attention to and uh, marking my planner between that. So I'll put down stickers that show the big events or big tasks that I need to take care of first and then I'll do my schedule and then I'll do my to-do list and uh, that's really been helping me. It's letting me know exactly what my priorities for the week is. So I'm I'm cool with that. I'm going to just take this box and place that on Monday because I did have to get my uh, therapy session rescheduled again. I know my therapist is sick of me. <laughs> y'all y'all know that that mean prepared to be sick of me. That's what my therapist. I should have said to my therapist because I'm always rescheduling. Well, not always. I feel like this is only the second or third time, but I do still feel like that's excessive. I don't know if it's because she's a therapist or she is just a real one, but she never really minds. She's just like, yeah, I get it. Life happens. Let's reschedule. And then we reschedule and we pick up like we never left off anywhere. So I don't know. She's real cool. I'm very grateful that I was able to find a therapist that I like, I don't know, but I've heard like, mm, I don't want to say horror stories, but kind of horror stories <laughs> when it comes to people uh, meeting with their therapist. And they were basically saying how, you know, the therapist wasn't right for them. 
And, you know, that's unfortunate. And I just don't want that to happen to me. And I'm glad that it did not happen to me because that would have probably scared me away from going to therapy. And Lord knows, (laughs) Lord knows I need to be in it. So I'm grateful that I found someone uh, who, who gets me and I get her. And uh, I am taking this quote here, and I'm cutting off the ghost because it was just too cute for this spread. And I wanted to add this coffin with the peace bony hands on this side just because I have the peace bony hands on the right side. So I am trying to, like, uh, match each page with each other, if that makes sense. And I'm really digging the orange and black vibe, like giving pure Halloween Those are like the main colors I think of when I think Halloween. And I just really love these stickers. They are giving me old school tattoo vibes. And I think they're so cute, like in a creepy way, of course, but like they're really cool to me. I wanted to add this coffin right there, as you can see, to kind of match the coffin that's on the other side. And then I am just placing stickers on Uh, top of the box. Uh, This kind of softens the super sharp square edge, you know, that seems pretty rigid. I really don't fool with squared boxes like that just because, you know, they seem rigid sometimes. But adding in things in between them or on top of them, covering them like this with this tiger here, it adds more organic lines. And it makes me uh, a lot more happier to use them in my spread. I did want to go ahead and slap down these orange and black flowers from the Kell of a Plan sticker book. Uh, the black isn't as black as I would like it, but you know, it'll work. You know, I'm not going to be too picky about it. I just really wanted that black flower to be black, like black like that coffin on uh, the left side of this spread here. That would have been real cool. But, you know, it's still doing what it needs to do. I ain't mad at it. I'm going to let it rock. I'm adding this sticker specifically because there's a bony body on Sunday, and I wanted a bony body on this half of the page as well, and this was the only other one. So I added that one there, and then of course you see that there's a coffin, and I'm thinking about using it, but before I do that, I add this sticker here. I don't know, I just felt like it needed to be there, to be honest. That one has no reasoning whatsoever. (laughs) That was just, hey, let's slip down a picture. This one here, I wanted the black to be carried more so on this side of the page, so I added that sticker on Friday just to bring more black to the page. And this is where I add that last coffin just to uh, make sure that it's all over the spread. And it adds like a triangular effect if you're looking at all the coffins, which is cool. I like that. Now I'm just adding a little bit of uh, foil details to sprinkle around the pages, make them feel, you know, a little special. I add this dead tire at at the end of Monday. Uh, I love this script just because I do be tired at the end of Mondays and then the dead tired is like a play on words. Ha ha. (laughs) So I put down a lot of stickers, a lot of decoration stickers. I put down my major events um, and now I'm thinking that I need to just go ahead and mark down my work schedule. Uh, Make sure that gets added onto the page before I add any more decor, uh, just because I do like seeing it, and I do like having a little bit of space to write in, like, my work to-dos as well, and I like to keep my work to-dos with my work schedule, so I don't need every day to be shown, but a few days would be nice just so I can add down any kind of work to do's with my work schedule. Now you can see me kind of messing around with the left side of the page and I am really just trying to figure out how to do my mood tracker this month because this 
this graph is just so tiny it's just not doing it for me and I decide to just use this little leaf to cover up all that white space even though it's still very noticeable but <laughs> but it's a lot better than without the leaf and then I had to add a sticker right there on that Monday uh, box because it was ripped so I had to put a sticker there to cover the rip and now I'm just marking mood tracker and I did take up quite a lot of space here, which I'm a little bit frustrated about, but it's whatever. Um, so I am going to be able to get the mood tracker in there the way that I want to, but not the way that I want to because I don't have any room to mark um, Monday through Sunday, basically, which is fine. I don't really mind. I know which line is Monday, which line is Sunday, so forth and so on. But I still just like seeing them. But again, it's whatever. I'm I'm not going to complain too hard about this. I am deciding to just zhuzh it up a little bit. Uh, I used a gel pen to write down tracker, and now I am going over the area that says mood that was written in orange with this black gel pen who is on its last leg, by the way. I definitely wind up throwing away this gel pen after uh, I completed this video, basically, just because it was like the ink was sputtering and it did not want to come out. And I could tell like there was basically no ink left and it was really kind of just ticking me off. So... <laughs> You know what? There's no need for me getting stressed out, the pen getting stressed out. Like, let's just part our separate ways and move forward. So, yeah, after after this video, I definitely parted that mug in the trash. <laughs> you already know I do have to mark my exercise routine in my Hobonichi cousin. Definitely, uh, it's it's. It's very important to me, so it's important that I can see it every week so I can check it off every week. Last week, I was naughty, and I did not exercise at all, but look, my Wi-Fi went out. I was sick. I was stressed. These are all excuses, yes. However, you know, they're pretty valid excuses, <laughs> Especially because I do grow with Joe for my exercise. So I ain't had no Wi-Fi. So how was I going to exercise? I mean, there's a million and one other ways to exercise, especially because, and look, I'm about to wrap myself out here. So, oh my gosh, here I am. I'm about to snitch on myself. But especially because my apartment has a gym, bro. <laughs> There is no excuse, but that was my excuse. I'm I'm still not like 100% comfortable going to the gym, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. And when I am there, then there will definitely be no excuse because there's a gym, a free gym. Well, it's not free. It's part of the rent, I'm sure. But free nonetheless. Look, y'all didn't let me ramble on. I didn't even tell you that this was after the pen. I still save some space to write, as I always do, just in case something pops up. I have a running to-do list, as well as my mood tracker. And that is it for the week. We can go ahead and decorate our um, daily sections, if you like. I'm going to place this here, because the gel pen does take a little bit of time to dry, so I want to make sure nothing smudges. And now I'm looking at my two sticker sheets that are like my main driving force and I'm thinking about what I want to use here and I do know I want to use those black moths so I just draw a little box and as you can see I'm doing my double box method it's so easy you guys because it is really you not doing anything <laughs> not doing anything special at all but it makes it looks like there was some kind of effort here, even though there was really no effort whatsoever. So that's why I love doing this. It 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 it, it just works. Sorry for the stuttering, but it just works. I'm going to add uh, one of my moths at the top. I'm thinking this larger black one is going to the top. So 
bam and then I'm going to take the other one and I'm adding that to the opposite corner at the bottom and bam and then I decided oh snap there's no orange so let me go ahead and get some orange I'm going to take these florals here and what you'll see me do is cut them in half so we can save them I really just didn't want the purple on this page so I cut that part of the sticker off but I save it because there's still a lot of sticker left I just don't want it on this page in particular and I add that to the bottom of this and that's pretty much done here now it looks pretty good it has enough color for me and I am just going to write down Monday I really had to force myself not to write in cursive again uh, I just love writing in my scripty font it it's it's comfortable like it's my comfort zone but I know I do need to practice a few more fonts uh, just to have some versatility you know script it's it's not my thing your girl can draw but she can't draw letters to save her life <laughs> so I do need to work on that and maybe one day I will focus on that but today is not the day so I'm thinking I want to collect all the snakes from the sticker sheets and uh, use that for this spread. I am also going to take these corner flowers and add them to the top of the spread just because I don't really do that too often. So you'll see me pull these off here. Yes, I really do like these uh, flowers. I just wish the purple wasn't there. But I didn't want to cut the purple out because it would have just looked funny, you know, because the, the purple flower is kind of right next to the orange flower. So it just, it wouldn't have looked the best in my opinion. So I just, you know, I just took one for the team and allowed it to stay there. <laughs> and now I am adding that to the top of the page. Like I said, I really never play stickers here so it was nice to do something a little bit different and now i'm adding my snakes i am going to make sure that there's some in between the flowers because i just want to make sure that they're not like separate elements you know i want to make them feel like the flowers belong with these other stickers as well how y'all feel about snakes? I know some people love them and some people hate them. Uh, my mom is terrified of them. One day we had went to the zoo and the anaconda exhibit, which I did find weird, but the anaconda, anaconda exhibit, it had an open glass. Like, I guess the snake was so docile that they were like, yeah, it's cool. It doesn't need to have an open glass. And when I tell you my mom was out of there so quick, <laughs> I'm not even mad at her because it, it was kind of weird. I cut these flowers so jank jankily, if that's even a word. I know it's not, but <laughs> it is today. But yes, uh, back to the story. She was out of there so quick, and I don't blame her. I actually love snakes. I think they're kind of cool. And, um, you know, I've held snakes multiple times. What I can't do is spiders so like she comes to my house to kill the spiders and if for some reason there was ever a snake in her house <laughs> well she'd call me up and it's, it's all cool you know that's the even trade even though it's not so even because when is there ever going to be a snake around you know barely ever but you know, I think they're. I just think they're cool. They just be. They just be chilling, bro. They just be chilling. Although I did see a video of a uh, an anaconda jumping from tree to tree, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's <laughs> that's a little bit nightmare fuel, bro. Because don't nobody want to see them. Like, we knew they could travel, but seeing it is a different story. So, I don't know. That that video was very unsettling. Uh, so, 
in in that regard, I definitely understand the fear of snakes. But even then, it's like the ones, the small ones, the little garden snakes, they don't scare me like that, bro. I'm I'm chill with them. On this next spread, and yes, I do consider two pages, uh, even though they're two different days, to be one spread. I like them to kind of match each other, but I'm going to go ahead and place down these gigantic stickers. I don't know what possessed them to make these stickers so freaking huge, but at the same time, it's kind of like, I like that 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 was like a thought process. <laughs> Again, not a big fan of the purple being there, but we're going to make it do what it do. And I just go ahead and slap this on Thursday and Friday. And I think this is going to be a nice way to put down stickers just because I really ever put stickers uh, down the spine like that. So it is going to alleviate some tension here. And I decide I'm going to do the big cats and the scorpion or scorpions on this page. So I'm going to add this tiger here just because it really fits well in that little corner here. And then I'm going to add the other one on the other side. Boom, boom. We got to make them coordinate. And then I am going to add my scorpions. I think I want the white one to be on Thursday just because it's a little bit bigger and I can break up some of that space. And then I'm going to take the dark one and put it on Friday and I'm just going to put it in the middle so it can take up all of that space right there and I do like how that looks so I can go ahead and add my little uh, script if you will <laughs> script or lack thereof for Thursday and Friday and you may have noticed that I did not outline like how I usually do I did do like the double outline, like how I did my boxes. That's what I decided to do for uh, the drop shadow, if you will, for these uh, dates that I'm writing in. And I like that. It's giving, you know, does it look kind of rickety, raggedy? Just a, just a tad, but like I do think... That's perfect for Halloween. If you ever have like a slanted box situation or, you know, your your writing isn't perfect, everything doesn't look quite as neat, the best time to do that is during the Halloween season because it just, it just fits. It just works. So we are going to go ahead and work on the last spread, which is Saturday and Sunday. I'm pulling up the rest of these stickers. Well, not the rest. I'm only going to take these two, like, larger stickers that I have left. And I'm placing them down somewhat at the bottom. There was a bubble in this one, but I didn't feel like trying to peel it off and place it back down a little bit better. So I just rubbed in the bubble as much as I possibly could. Yes, the lazy girl method. And then I am adding the skulls for Saturday and Sunday. And I think I am going to add the last of my stickers at the top. But first, I am going to go ahead and write down Saturday as well as Sunday. This is the last of my date covers. And I think they're looking pretty good. I think I could have done something a little bit different. But I am not going to be too hard on myself. I really do like how it came together in the end. So I'm adding this sticker here and one next to it and decided that it would have looked better in a box. So your girl's going to slap down a couple of boxes. And I do think the box is exactly what this page needed. Not so much Sunday. I do think the box looks great on Saturday, but Sunday it's like, hmm. I think there's just a little bit too much space. You know what? I think I didn't go down enough for Sunday. And so the box, uh, the boxes aren't even like evenly matched or I guess evenly sized. So I guess that was a me problem. I'm sorry, but that was basically everything. So let's do a flip through. I'm going to show you how the whole week looks when it's first set up. First, we have our weekly section. 
and everything is basically already planned. I'm excited to get into this week and finish everything out here. Finish strong, I guess. And now we flip to the daily section using the exact same stickers because it really helps my mind uh, correlate which week I'm in. So that's why I have to do this every time it works for me. But if you did like this video, please make sure that you like the video. And I want to say thank you for watching, you guys. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.